Yes, yes, it's me da. Hey Roses, I'm back to do another manga review. This time it is on Pandora Hearts by Jin Mochizuki. I think is how you pronounce the last name. I could be wrong about that. But this series I actually got into because of John or Reba, as some of my followers know him as. The ones in that follow me that are in Discord, anyway. Um, this follows the story of Oz Vizalaeus, and he finds out, literally like the opening frame says, your big sin is the fact that you exist. Which threw me for a loop at first, because I'm just like, wait a minute. What is going on here? But then as I read on, I realized, yeah, it says your sin is your very being, it says it on the back. But um, it says, on his 15th birthday, on the coming of age ceremony, it says, quickly turns to horror when he is condemned for a sin about which he knows nothing, thrown into the abyss, an eternal prison from which there is no escape. Oz meets a young girl named Alice, who is not what she seems. Now that the relentless cogs of fate have begun to turn, will they lead only to crushing despair for Oz, or will Alice provide him with some shred of hope? So... That was the back of the volume one, and this is Alice for reference, right here. Um, I'm not really gonna go into much about this, because again, I do not want to spoil. The only thing I will say, you probably gathered this from her name, this is a manga telling of almost, I say almost, like Alice in Wonderland. Because you have Alice, you have someone that resembles, like, the Mad Hatter, you have, you know, other characters that resemble different Alice in Wonderland characters and things like that. So, I do like that it is a retelling of that. This series is only 24 volumes long, The volume 24 is, like, that freaking thick. I don't know why they made the last one so thick when they could have split it, but anyway. Um, but yeah, like I said, I got into the series through John or Reba because he actually watched the anime years ago and even has like the pocket watch from the series. Excuse me. So he really enjoyed the anime. But he never read the manga. He's not a big manga reader like me. Um, although I think he did read the One Kingdom Hearts one that I gave him years ago. Maybe. I'll have to ask him. Anyway. Brain is all scattered. Can you tell? Um, but yeah, this is Oz. And... He has a best friend named... I think it's Gilbert? Let me see if it's actually Gilbert, because I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Gil. So, Gil Gilbert, yeah. Okay, so I was making that assumption. I was making that right. And this is actually what he looks like on the cover of Volume 2. So... I do want to get the rest of the series. I might get a different volume one though, because this one's kind of in some rough shape. <laughs> I picked this up at a used bookstore for like $4.97, but I might try the Kanokuniya and see if I can find some of the rest of these, because it's a good series in my opinion. Um, When Alice is first introduced, she claims that she's actually a prisoner in the depths. And you don't really know why that's the case. But Oz is able to apparently free her somehow. And so now it's a big mission like, oh, he's going to help her get her memories back while she helps him get out of the depths. You know, it's like a... Quip pro, quo, quip pro quo situation, if I can talk. I am so tongue-tied today, I apologize. 
but it goes from that to something much bigger. And again, I do not want to spoil, and I know I keep saying this in all my manga reviews, y'all are probably getting sick of me saying that, but I want to give as little information as possible, enough to want to make you read it, but not so much that I'm like, great, just spoil, just spoiled an important plot point type of thing, you know what I mean? So yeah. I know this one is significantly shorter than the last two manga reviews, but again, there's so many details with Pandora Hearts specifically that I do not want to go into more detail. The less you know, the better, in my opinion. But with all that being said, I will talk to you guys soon in another video and another time. Bye, Rosis. Annyeong.